The Augusta National Golf Club is finally co-ed. Two female members, including former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, are now members. We're talking to Darren Everson. He is one of the Wall Street Journal's sports editors. To ask this burning question, why now? You know what? That, it's a great question. And the only thing I can say is that this was never going to be done, as Hootie Johnson famously said, at the point of a bayonet 10 years ago. <laughs> Hootie Johnson being the former, former chairman of, right. of uh, Augusta. And back then, Martha Burke, if you remember, sent a letter saying basically that uh, Augusta National needs to get with the Times and uh, admit women. And it was clear that Augusta National was never going to do it on anybody else's timetable. So. This was how it was always going to happen, completely out of the blue. So while well, well, somebody does not have a gun to their head, that's right. when they decide to do it. Uh, Martha, Brooke, Brooke, uh, Martha Burke being uh, the head of the National Council of Women's Organizations. Let's talk about the women they chose to let in. Then we'll talk about a few they did not, starting with former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Why her? A very natural choice. I mean, if you've noticed with Condoleezza Rice, she's a sports nut. I mean, she's been at Congressional at the golf course there in D.C. For, uh, for big events before, for big tournaments. Uh, beyond that, there's been talk in the past about how she would love to be uh, a sports commissioner. Uh, so Condoleezza Rice is as natural a choice as you could possibly come up with. She's someone who's into golf and into sports in general. And the same goes for Darlene Moore as well. She's the second one. She's a, a South Carolina financier. Exactly. Yep. And also her name's on the business school there. Uh, so it figures. The one thing I'm sure that's what your next question was that's a little surprising is who they didn't let in. Exactly. Primarily the IBM CEO, Virginia Rognetti. And, you know, the question there again is, is it's the same sort of thing where it's like, that was what we all thought Augusta would have to do because in the past the IBM chief executive was always a member. Because they're a big sponsor. Exactly. But then they didn't do We're it We're looking time. at her right now. Uh, that's again Virginia Rometty. She's the CEO of IBM. Go ahead. And, uh, and again, it just, figure, it just goes along with this pattern that we've seen with Augusta National before, which is just because there's precedent or just because other people say they should do something, they're just not going to do it for those reasons. She herself didn't make a big deal of it when they did not admit her immediately. It was, however, in the news, and yet does this sort of go along with the we're not going to do anything with a gun to our head? Maybe they're going to admit her down the road, but she sure wasn't going to be the first choice because such a brouhaha had been made about it. Exactly. I think that now if you're Augusta National, you sort of look at this as like, you know, we've done this now. How can you complain based on, you know, oh, well, we didn't admit this particular member as opposed to that one. Uh, and obviously the two they admitted seem to be certainly uh, qualified members. So um, that's going to be the big question going forward. And also the timing of this. Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, you just, your mind goes in a number of different directions. There is a presidential campaign right. going on. You know, it's, it's hard to say. It's just, it's such a secretive club. It's hard to know for sure exactly what their motivations are. And they haven't let anybody really in on the, the thinking of why they chose these two members, how they made the decision, when they even decided to make, the, to think about making the decision. And what about the changing of the guard at the top of Augusta? Billy Payne, now the chairman, uh, you know, Hootie Johnson again had famously sort of dug his heels in. Has there been a thought that this was going to happen because there is this new chairman, Billy Payne, who seemed a little bit more open to it? It, it did seem that way. It was just a matter of time. And, and again, I think that it was just a matter of first, I don't know if it was ever going to happen under Hootie because of what happened earlier with Martha Burke. Uh, but with Billy Payne, obviously he ran the Olympics back when they were in Atlanta. It seemed like this was going to be a progressive step that he would take. It was just a matter of when.